Andy Mogul. Friday 101 is about to begin. If you're looking for a particular segment, click one of the topics listed below. What's up, Indie Mogulers? Russell here. Going through the emails we've received at friday101mail at gmail.com, one topic that constantly comes up is where to find free music that you can legally add to your YouTube videos. I also get a lot of entries for Mogular Made that I just can't show because they use copyrighted music. I always try to send people a long list of places that they can go for free music, but... You know what? Let's just put it all out there right now with the Indie Mogul Friday 101 Ultimate Awesome Free Music List for Real 2012. Unless somebody has a better name. One of the biggest names in free music online is Kevin McLeod of Incompetech.com. He has posted over 2,000 songs on his website, all of which are free to use for any purpose, even commercially, meaning that if you're a YouTube partner, you can monetize videos that use his music. There's only one thing you have to do to use this for free, give the guy credit, whether in the titles of your movie or even just in the description of your uploaded video. If you look at the bottom of the description of this show every week, you'll see this posted there. This is made possible by Creative Commons Licensing. Creative Commons is a licensing system that makes it possible for musicians to create music and allow it to be used by anyone under whatever terms they deem appropriate, while still keeping the copyright on their own work. The only requirement is that they tag their music with the license of their choosing. At creativecommons.org, you can find a lot more information about this. There are a few types, but the one we'll focus on first is called Attribution. This is the simplest license, and the one under which Kevin posts all of his music on in Compotech. With this license, as long as you credit the artist, you can do whatever you want with the track. You can use it in your movies, remix it, add to it, monetize it. There's other options that can be added as well, such as share alike, where the added stipulation is that you must also make the work that you use the song in available under Creative Commons. Or if the artist only wants the song in its original form to be used, they can add no derivatives, making it so you can't alter it in any way. The next one's what you have to watch out for if you monetize your videos, non-commercial. In this case, they have no problem with their music being used in the various ways previously mentioned, but you cannot make money off of it. For certain things, it's fine. Just keep an eye out for that symbol when looking through some of the sites we're about to mention. All right, that's enough of the legal mumbo jumbo. Let's get to the free music list. First up, the big one mentioned earlier in Competech.com has thousands of songs posted. Most of the music used on this very channel comes from there. You can search the tracks by genre or even by feel. Looking for a song that is at once calming, epic, and somber? Is that even possible? My God, he did it. Another one of my favorites is Josh Woodward of the appropriately named joshwoodward.com. He generally does acoustic songs, some electric, complete with lyrics as well. He has about 170 songs available for use at the moment, but the thing that I think is great is that he also puts instrumentals up for almost every song. So if you're using it for a scene and want the lyrics to shut up so you can hear what the characters are saying better, just cut between the two tracks, which are otherwise the same. It's abandoned factory, there's no one here but you. See? Works great. One site I enjoy just because you never know what you're going to find is freemusicarchive.org. But for commercial purposes, make sure to do this. Next to the search bar, pull up the drop-down menu and select Search Music. When you get there, on the left, check off Commercial Purposes, then just do a blank search and you've now got over 3,000 songs you could potentially use. Royaltyfreekings.com is another great site. Just scroll down to the bottom of the list on the left to find the free music sections. Just credit them and be sure to link to their website and you're good to use it for anything. Though they do have a $250,000 budget cap, so you can't use it for free if your budget is higher than that, which I assume is only like half of you. MattMcFarland.com is another great easy to use attribution only site, sorting theirs mostly by their tempo. Audionautics just requires their website to be linked and features, as of this time, 266 tracks of various genres. AnthonyKozar.net slash music has a few tracks for those looking for a more experimental sounding music, though the website itself kind of hurts to look at. FreeMusicForVideos.com Com features a good amount of music as well, and is also a lot nicer to look at than that last one. One I only recently found is called BeatsRoyaltyFree.com. It features all kinds of genres, but especially has a lot of hip-hop and electronic beats. All music is free to use commercially, unless otherwise stated on the page a song is downloaded from. There's quite a few more which will all be listed at the end and in the video description, but I'm also proud to present a few 
new options, courtesy of one of our viewers and someone you may remember from the old movie quest days. First, a viewer from my Wednesday live show, Tyler Johnson, brought to my attention a group called Noise Index. They're making a good amount of their music available with an attribute license over on their SoundCloud page, soundcloud.com slash noiseindex with a Z. Make sure to check the right side of the tracks that are listed for their license info. Two other SoundCloud pages worth mentioning. First, a friend of mine named Abilash Butch, who you may remember as Ab, the original co-host of Movie Quest way back when. He's done music for a few of my short films as well as being the one who did the Friday 101 opening theme, which I really have to tell him to put online already as a lot of people are asking about that. He's only just now made his music available for Creative Commons, so that's another brand new resource, along with his brother Tanmay, who also has a music page he just opened up for Creative Commons as well. Let's put together all these links here. Any of the links mentioned on the show that have YouTube channels associated with them will be clickable via the annotations on screen. There's also an extended list in the description below, along with the links for iPad and iPod users. If you feel we've missed out on any major music sites, let us know. Or if you make music yourself and want to make it available via Creative Commons, send all that info to friday101mail at gmail.com, subject line, more free music, and we'll add you to the list below. Thanks for watching, and if, in the future, you find yourself using a lot of music from any one of these sites, consider donating a few dollars to the artists here and there, most of which have PayPal accounts set up on their page, to show your support and thank them for the work that they do. That's it for this week. See you back here next Friday for a new Friday 101 mailbag. Get those questions in. We'll see you then.